today is uh, just grade uh, this area a little bit for about 20-30 minutes and uh, then we'll put the tractor away. So the first thing I'm trying to do here is to clean up uh, this area just a little bit more. I've got a couple of trees that I have to take down, a couple of small cedars, uh, and then I'm going to start pushing some of this dirt uh, into the low spot, which is off to the right hand side. What I will have to do at some point is to bring in a lot of fill to really level this out like I need it to be uh, for the container workshop, but for now um, it's really just a cleanup process. As far as the cedars go, these two are pretty small, uh, easy to push over with the, with the grapple, and then uh, they just get carried out to the fire, which I'll show you all here in a little bit.
best way to use the box plate here, uh, because portions of this ground are, are relatively hard, is to use the rippers. So I'll, I'll basically drive in a uh, forward direction with the rippers down, and then I'll just push all of the dirt back that I've just ripped up. Uh, and that seems to work uh, fairly well, and I, I get pretty good results with that. Um, so box plate is uh, for sure the right task for the job here. Okay guys, I'm going to see if I could pull this tree away from the fence. I cannot get in there because um, it's too close, so we're going to see if we can use a chain. I'm using a 20 foot chain here, which has a 4,700 pound uh, working load limit. This thing was only $40 from uh, Home Depot, which um, at this point is pretty cheap for a chain because comparable stuff was well over $80 elsewhere. But uh, anyways, 20 feet uh, is safe enough to be able to get me far enough away from the tree. Um, I didn't really have any high hopes of uh, bringing it down uh, because this this tree trunk is pretty sizable and um, I don't actually manage to do it in this video. I did, I did take it down later, uh, which I failed to record, but uh, it en I ended up having to bring the backhoe out and uh, loosen up the soil a little bit, actually quite a bit, uh, before I was able to pull it down uh, once again with the chain. So you guys are going to see me here attempt uh, to, to pull, the, pull the tree down and and not succeed and then uh, I'll just end up moving on to the next smaller one. Normally avoid doing this with the grapple because it's uh, probably not healthy for the for the tractor to be uh, pushing over a big tree like this. But I just wanted to see if maybe I could loosen up the soil a little bit more uh, since I've been working on it uh, now um, for some time, and you know maybe it would just come down. But uh, if you guys look at the top there, it is hitting the tree right next to it, so that wasn't helping. Uh, but either way, I, I didn't uh, succeed uh, at this. So since I um, failed to bring down that the bigger tree there, I decided to move on to the smaller one. Uh, what's going on in this um, instance here is that I've got more stuff behind the tractor which can't be seen on the camera here. 
and I was just trying to squeeze in there uh, to be able to push down that smaller tree. Unfortunately, um, the only direction I could push it in was uh, into that other tree, which was stopping me from really doing anything uh, productive with it. Uh, and then I couldn't really back up uh, any more than what you guys see happening here. I also ended up bending my uh, one of my side links on the three point uh, when I was doing this, and I didn't realize that until later uh, when I went to take off the uh, the box blade. Um, so um, this this didn't really uh, work out like I had planned. However, I did loosen up the, the roots quite a bit and uh, figured uh, the next thing to do would be to, to throw the chain on there and uh, give that a try, which worked out successfully um, on the smaller tree. So I find the best way to process these cedar trees is number one, to knock them down with the root ball and all. Uh, that way you don't waste any time uh, having to extract the root ball out of the ground later. Next, um, I try to cut it in such a way so that I can salvage uh, the straight pieces, um, you know, the, the, best, the best possible. Um, these trees aren't always perfectly straight, but you know, they're good enough uh, to be used for, for fence posts and stuff that, that aren't going to be seen from the, from the road. So, uh, and it's cedar, which means it's, it's not going to decay on you and uh, rot. So, uh, that's from, from that perspective at least, uh, these trees aren't too bad. Uh, but they are, uh, they can be hard to deal with sometimes. Uh, so, with the, uh, the portions that I don't need here, I'll basically... Uh, cut them off, which which you guys see here to the bottom left of the screen. Later, I'll come by with the uh, with the tractor and just pick them up. And uh, these are uh, manageable enough with uh, with just the grapple. I don't have to cut them any shorter. Uh, and the next step is usually to uh, drag it over the fire and just toss it on the fire, and let it let it all burn down. Uh, what I do with the stumps is I just uh, put them off to the side. Uh, for now, at some point, I'll either have to burn them all, bury them, or have them removed. Uh, I haven't decided which to do, but I probably have a good 75 to 100 stumps sitting all over the property uh, from all the, uh, the clearing that's that's been done so far. 
um, as it was on this day. I, I didn't throw the rest of that tree on the fire. I ended up doing it the next day uh, because I, I was uh, planning to leave uh, here um, shortly. As far as this fire goes, I try to manage it uh, while I am there. Just uh, keep to just keep moving it around that way. Uh, everything I'm throwing on there is going to have a chance to burn. And uh, fortunately, with the grapple here, uh, I'm able to do that safely and easily. Um, especially once the grapple opens up, it really allows me to to reach in there uh, without getting uh, too close to it and if the, if the fire is not really burning uh, a whole lot then uh, it's, it's that much better but uh, but yeah with the uh, grapple it makes makes this process super easy all right so I'm back here at the backhoe and uh, hooking it back up to the tractor so we can uh, start putting everything away uh, again, slightly tedious job. Uh, hopefully the second container will help me a little bit and um, I hopefully won't have to carry this thing on the back of the tractor at all times, but uh, it usually takes about five minutes, five to ten minutes or so uh, to get it all hooked up and uh, put away.
Alright, so as the video winds down here, uh, last thing to do is to put the tractor away. Uh, as you guys can see here, it fits in this 20 foot container fairly well. I do end up lifting the grapple up, get it over the box blade uh, that's inside already. Um, and then the backhoe has to be put off to the side uh, just to be able to uh, close the door. Uh, overall, it's a fair way to, to keep this thing on my property and also uh, keeps it out of the weather and I don't have to have to worry about it physically. Um, I do have a relatively hefty lock on it, which, you know, if somebody really wanted to break in there, they probably could, but haven't had any, any issues like that up to this point, fortunately. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll be uploading a lot more uh, material uh, as I continue improving the property.